In Calendly, you have your fixed events, such as for me in Calendly, I've got a 60 minute coaching session or a YouTube strategy session and so on. I've got some other events down here. But sometimes you just want to create a one off event. So it's not a regular thing, it's purely one off and you can do it really easily. Here's how you go into create here in Calendly. I can just do a one off meeting and invite someone to pick a time to meet. And our meeting is going to be a, in a quick catch up. I can add details or an agenda in here. This is just text and that will go into the description of their calendar entry and yours as well. And of course you can link to other files if you want. How long do I want the meeting to go for? I'm going to make this one 45 minutes. Now the location, if you've already added web conferencing such as Zoom to Calendly, then you can just say here is the Zoom link and search for it down here. If you haven't done that, and if you'd like to do that, then check out this video that I'm linking here right now, which will show you how to integrate Zoom and Calendly. This has also got other options for conferencing, Google Meet or Microsoft Teams. Those are the two common ones. But I'm, I'm going to be sticking with Zoom. Click Next. And then I can choose a schedule, one of my existing schedules, or simply set it to something else. I've only got the default hours here. I now want to say, well, what days am I going to be available? I'm going to put that in for, I'm going to say, this meeting is not available until the 8th of February. And I'm going to mark that across to here, hold the Shift key down, through the 12th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th or 12th. They can book it any time that week. I click apply. And how much notice do I want to have myself? How, how far ahead do they need to book? And I can make that two hours ahead. I can spell that out in days or even just in minutes if I don't really mind. But I, I usually like to have a little bit of notice. So I'm going to click publish meeting now. And that's almost it. I just have to send them the link. And when I do that, they will see this. Well, we'll click preview. It'll be the same. They will get this link. Click catch up. Now, remember, I've only made it available in February. So they will click on view next month. There's no spots available in January. But February does have a spot available. And then they can book a time and in their local time this will appear on calendly and they book the time confirm and they'll put in their name email address and we will both get an alert get a notification saying that that time is booked in the calendar now if you found this helpful then consider subscribing to my channel because i share videos that will help you get through your day using the software that you need to use.